In the new industrial revolution, one of the features that will separate winners from losers will be manufacturers' capabilities in making products in a personalised way. Well, I'm here in the latest stage of a journey throughout industrial America. I'm here under the hot Arizona sun talking to a company whose ideas illustrate what's going on as we move towards a made-to-order future in global manufacturing. From the outside, this nondescript warehouse in Phoenix looks about as far away from global conflict as possible. But inside, materials manufacturer Armour Designs, run by Jim Sintville, a versatile engineer who had a previous career in orthopaedic surgery, is developing some of the most sophisticated armour in the world. The company's process, developed over 17 years, is the result of analysing the structural properties of composite materials based on plastic resin and on this basis forming the materials into layers that create barriers to bullets and bombs. Armour Designs um, specialises in designing the matrix of composite armour uh, to optimise the raw materials in such a way that they can meet the threat level. And the way we do it is that we have a patented VCM process called volumetrically controlled manufacturing that enables us to precisely compute material property sequencing in volume increments so that uh, we know the three-dimensional recipe for the design of the matrix before you go into production. But the design of armor for protecting either people or vehicles is not a one-size-fits-all science. Armour Design's lead on rivals comes from its ability to tailor the materials in its products according to what they have to protect against. Often, the company would be given details by governments of a new type of threat, typically from groups of terrorists. The call could be for a bodysuit to stop a certain calibre of bullet, or vehicle armour capable of withstanding a new type of roadside bomb. Within a few hours, the company can come up with prototypes. If you look at the world today, you, you'll see that each region of the world has different threat levels. And, and by that I mean uh, the bullets that are being used in the Middle East are different than the bullets that are being used in Southeast Asia oftentimes. And people no longer have to um, lock into buying armor that is, meets a U.S. standard, it, it may not make sense. It, it, you should lock into whatever threat level you're exposed to your, or your troops are exposed to. And we have designed plates that will fit just about every region in the world. But the company's approach to composites design and rapid prototyping goes well beyond the narrow and somewhat esoteric arena of armor. If Mr. St. Ville's vision comes true, he'll be able to use his knowledge of materials and software to move his company into the much broader field of designing tailored materials with properties useful in all sorts of industries. Well, of course, this is just a dirt strip right now, but if all goes to plan in two or three years' time, this will be the site of the global headquarters of Armour Designs. If this company succeeds, it'll be one more positive piece of evidence pointing us in the direction of a new era for global manufacturing. This is Peter Marsh, Financial Times, Phoenix, Arizona.